Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on June 3rd, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, everything else affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at the sun. 304 angstroms, we do have an earth-facing sunspot. And as well, that cresting southwest sunspot, who is starting to show a little bit of activity but still nothing major on the sun. No major changes since yesterday. Look at sizable plasma filaments erecting there from the outgoing regions. Close look here at the now incoming sunspot. It did release a small CME right there, but still nothing major heading our way. Looking multi-spectrum here, able to see the full activity on the sun. One, two, three sunspots. And now an Earth-facing coronal hole. Which looks like it could be growing here over the next 24 hours into its Earth-facing position. Having a look here at solar X-ray flux. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Real-time solar wind sitting at about 318 kilometers per second. And still, it's just been steady, low wind speeds. Nothing major to report. Schumann resonance for today, power of 15. Still a low amplitude power, but good quality, 8.8. .8. Amplitude of 9. Let's have a quick look at Earthquakes the last 24 hours as we've had an active North American plate. Nothing major, but lots of small earthquakes and pretty widespread as well. We're going to start out here in Dibble, Oklahoma with a 3.3 at an 11 kilometer de uh, depth. And as well, Texas seeing a 3.0 here. Coyonosa and as well, White City, New Mexico, Mexico seeing a 2.7. 2.6 there, Arizona. That's a pretty rare earthquake for Arizona. They don't see that often. 2.7 there, Mina, Nevada. As well, Pinnacles, California, seeing a 3.6. Alum Rock, California, 7 kilometer depth, 3.6. And a couple minor earthquakes along the coastline. Encroaching earthquakes here, Stanley, Idaho, towards the Canadian border. And as well, we do have quite a bit of activity going through Montana and Wyoming around Yellowstone, Dubois, seeing a 2.3 today. As well, Mammoth, Wyoming, in the lake, northeast of the lake. And then all of these earthquakes moving northwestward towards the Canadian border and continuing earthquakes through Idaho. No, no major swarms to talk about today, except for small swarm and cob towards Clear Lake. The geysers. Over to Hawaii, where last night reported a 4.0 4 here southeast of Hawaiian Island. Nahaila. 3.1, 2.9, many minor earthquakes around Hawaii. Just have a quick look here, USGS. This is where the 4.0 was, and it was in the uh, Lohu Seamount. And then we're also seeing earthquakes towards the Kilauea Crater. Many earthquakes there, minor, but still growing in multitude. 2.1. It's been pretty quiet through that region recently. So obviously there's a lot of pressure coming up under Hawaii, even as far south past the, the Apopo Seamount. So interesting across Hawaii. Let me know if you've been feeling those earthquakes and you're watching from Hawaii. Overlooking Alaska. Minor earthquakes continue there. Largest being a 3.9 here at Chickaloon. As well, minor activity through the Aleutians. 4.2 here to report 
Kamchatka, eerily quiet through Japan, no earthquakes to report, report today. After a pretty active day yesterday, 5.4 here reported, King Hai, China, as well a 4.6 at a 190 kilometer depth, northern Mariana Islands. And then our largest earthquake today, a 6.1 rang out, Ternate, Indonesia, 9 kilometer depth, and that was overnight, so early morning for them. As well, Philippine Serengeti, seeing that 4.8. One 4.6 here, Papua New Guinea. And then minor earthquakes through Tonga and Fiji, but all shallow earthquakes. Now through Central America. A 4.2 here reported Mexico, border with Mexico. As well, a 4.3 here in Nicaragua, 53 kilometer depth. Sizable 5.1 here reported Venezuela, Canora, Venezuela, and as well, activity continues through Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Atlantic Ridge here, a 5.0, and as well, a 4.8, and Greece, a 64-kilometer depth. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, and there are more. I know there are a lot more that are just not being reported. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Seeing the activity coming back to North America recently. And as well, Central America. Quiet through the African plate now. Continual activity through China and westward into the Indian plate. And as well... Deep West Ring of Fire movement. Be ready. Stay aware and prepared. My friends and family, just have a plan. There are many places on this earth that are not able to get the warnings. So please share this channel with your friends and family. Now look here at the Pacific Disaster Center. Showing satellite imagery over North America. Some storms moving through Sterling, West Virginia, as well North Carolina. And northern Ontario. And uh, things have heated up across the prairies. Watching for that low to come in this week brings some extreme weather to us. Tropical Depression Blanca is still alive. And it looks like it's still tracking westward, which is a good thing. But as I said, most of the moisture was wrapped up and then thrown into the Gulf. Having a look at the most recent volcanoes to up update, Fuego, Ebuco, Reventador, Nirigongo, Sangay, Nevados de Chilean, Sabincaya, Cinnabung, as well Semeru, Mount Etna, Swiss and Najima in Japan. So that's only about 10 volcanoes getting updated today for active and erupting volcanoes. We also do have a tropical depression, Chao Wan, who is done with the Philippines and is heading towards Taiwan and then into Japan. Stormy conditions through India and as well Myanmar. And quick look here, and you can see by the satellite imagery here, the top of this hurricane, this tropical system, was blown apart. That deep lower level trough is still there. So it should be an interesting long range forecast. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well morning dew daily events worldwide. Starting out here at Calgary, Alberta as we do have some extreme heat conditions across the prairies and it was very sticky humid today. We might get some thunderstorms later tonight, some foothills evaporation, but nothing major until tomorrow and then in, into the weekend. Watch for that extreme weather to start popping up through Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba eastward. So low, eventually scooting across Canada 
affecting parts of Quebec and northern Newfoundland. And then we've got all this tropical moisture hanging around eastern side of the United States and really warm temperatures. Things are really starting to heat up. Enjoy the summer, everybody. Overlooking the Atlantic. Still high pressure ridge. Keeping things dry and no major systems forming. Overlooking Europe. Still have that huge low pressure system over Turkey. Is going to be continuing to form over this five day forecast and to not really go anywhere. So watch for parts of Eastern Europe. Later in the week, you could have a lot of rain associated with this big low pressure system. Extreme heat conditions through parts of northern India and as well Qatar up into Uzbekistan as well monsoon rains continuing parts of southern India and as well through Malaysia, Indonesia and Southeast Asia. But some intense weather here is developing for parts of Taiwan or Thailand and China. Some very intense systems here developing for the long range forecast. So heads up, China, you've got a very intense system on your doorstep. There's a few countries that do, a few continents that do. Also overlooking here, Papua New Guinea, watch for tropical system to try to form just north of you and Hence, it will bring some extreme weather conditions. As well, overlooking Australia. Keep on watch parts of Western Australia as this system here is developing in the long range forecast. Let's hope it uh, stays away from your coastline, but I don't think it will. Most of Australia dry until about Sunday to Monday. And then we see those systems move into parts of Eastern Australia. That's a cold low too. I think a lot of people will be surprised from a little bit of snow with that system. Having a look here, New Zealand, still expecting quite a bit of rain here for the next few days as that system lingers and crushes your coastline pretty much. <laughs> Heads up. Stay safe, aware, and prepared, my friends and family. High pressure ridge here over the Pacific. Directing that big low in the Pacific and as well scooting this low into Vancouver and BC coastline. And that's going to be coming in Monday to Tuesday. Overlooking South America. No major weather systems to talk about except for some heavy rains and possible thunderstorm conditions through Colombia. Of course, Panama region, coastal regions there. And as well, a uh, line of systems and storms here for Chile-Argentina border. Big low for parts of southern Argentina and the long-range forecast Overlooking Africa, no major weather events to talk about there either. Daily evaporation rains, but pretty dry this week. Very hot. South Africa, a little bit of rain here. Intertropical convergence, cold temperatures. So heads up, South Africa. And heads up, Southern Argentina. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern pointing out the major systems affecting our planet in the coming days. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of the new followers and, of course, all of the love and support that you guys throw towards the channel. Keep hitting that like button. Keep sharing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. Prayers for Humanity.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.